In section 3.2.3, we continue looking at similarity in triangles, and we look at how we can use the two shortcuts from the last lesson to make the flow charts to prove that two triangles are similar. Now, there were two of those. One was side, 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 and the other was angle, angle. And so we will go through both of these and show you how this is, you need to do this. Remember that the advantage of the shortcuts was that we did not have to show that all the sides were proportional and show that all the corresponding angles were congruent. This allows us to use a lot less information to show that they're similar. So when we're doing a side-side-side similarity, one of the things we want to do is we want to find out if the zoom or scale factor on all three are the same. I'm going to show you a little trick that we talked about in class, and that is when you're lining up your triangles, remember to, to go with your smallest sides together, your longest sides together, and your in-between sides together. That will save you a lot of time and experimentation. So the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to put my small sides together, and I have um, 6, it's the smallest side on the large triangle, over 3, and I get that that equals 2. I need to do this for all the pairs of corresponding sides, so I'm going to do it for the middle now. 8 over 4, which equals 2 and 10 over 5, which equals 2. Since I have the same zoom factor or scale factor on all of them, I know that these two triangles are going to be similar. Now, when I'm doing this flow chart, I need to make sure I, I know they're similar because I've done this. But this is the information that I need to start with. I need to be able to say, from this observation, I draw a conclusion down below. Let's go ahead and look at that. I'm going to draw my three circles around here because these are the three facts that I need to know to do this. I'm only going to add one little piece of information here. This was QS over AB. This was SR over BC. And this was RQ over CA. I know you can't read those very well, but basically I need that in there to show that I've identified the corresponding sides. Then, from these observations, I need to draw my conclusion. My conclusion is that these two triangles are similar. And I'm going to write my similarity statement. I'm going to start with triangle ABC. And I need to match up, just like we talked about yesterday, how to do this. A is between the longest and shortest side, and it's going to match up with Q. B is between 3 and 4, which matched up with 6 and 8, so it must match up with S. And C has to be the one that's left, goes with R. So... Just in case you can't read that, that's Q, S, R. And I know that those are similar by side, side, side similarity. The flow chart for side, side, side should look this way each time. It shows your three corresponding side pairs and that they equal the same zoom factor. And then show that your similarity statement correctly lined up. Okay. The other shortcut we learned yesterday was angle-angle. This one's actually pretty easy because usually 
if you have numbers or if you've got the markings for congruent angles, all you have to see is that, that you have two sets of congruent angles, pairs. So we have two here and we have two over here. Now, since we have to have those to prove it, we're going to have two circles to do that. Angle A is congruent to angle Q. We see that from the markings that they've given us. That's the way we know. And angle C is congruent to angle R. So we show both of those. And those are our observations. From our observations, we draw our conclusion. And our conclusion is that they are similar. Triangle and triangle. Okay. Triangle A, B, C. Now, A matched up with Q. So once again, I'm going to match it that way. A matched with Q. And let's see. B has to match with S and C matches with R. So C matches with R, B with S, and A with Q. And I know that these are similar by angle, angle, similarity. Now, when you do an angle, angle, similarity flow chart, it is going to look this way because you have to have the, you have to say your two pieces of information, your two angles, and once you have your two angle pairs, you can say that they are similar. 